Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. We're going to do something a little bit different in this video. Um, the other day we went out, we did some trash picking, some curbside trash picking. Didn't hardly find anything. Found a couple things. I didn't even turn the camera on for it, but I'm going to show you that now. And then directly after that, I'm going to take you guys inside our local Goodwill. Kind of show you guys around the store, um, show you all a few things that are in there. Maybe, maybe even buy a few things, but uh, let's get into it. So like I said, I didn't even really turn the camera on. Um, this was promising. This was a pretty good score. Um, just a barbecue grill. It's missing the, um, uh, maybe the temperature. I'm not sure what would have went up there, but it's a master built. It's just a tiny little grill. Perfect for me, Lauren and Lucas. Um, also found a couple of these stack jacks. There was two of these. It's a really nice little score nothing at all wrong with those and then also found a couple of folding chairs that were in good condition actually really good condition and they work perfectly and they're really comfortable and then the only other notable thing is this bird feeder um kind of in rough shape needs to be repainted lauren wants to repaint it and use it so it could be cool like I said, that's the only other thing notable at all. I mean, it was, it was a bad day for picking. Really, really bad day. Of course, it was storming, so it had a lot to do with it, I'm sure. So, but anyway, like I said, let's get into some thrifting. Um, this is the first time that I've ever recorded like this, so I don't know. Hopefully, you guys like it. Hopefully, you all enjoy it. Let's go have some fun. All right, so here we are inside the thrift store, and... Forgive me, this is the first time I've ever recorded inside of a thrift store like this. This is Goodwill, by the way. And I am on my cell phone recording, so... We'll see how good the quality is. Here's an electric can opener, jar opener. So on this particular day, of course, we went up here to find some stuff to resell at, the, at Goodwill. But, guess who forgot his wallet? So... We're pretty much just looking around. I figured maybe I could uh, get some opinions from you guys on things that I maybe should or should not have bought. Every time that I see those drills in there, they either don't have the battery or they don't have the charger. They're never complete. There's a little stereo. Could have been a decent sale, maybe. I know I see people selling those quite a bit, but the um, the CD tray was kind of messed up. A little Mickey Mouse bobblehead. He just felt real cheap. And it definitely wasn't a vintage one. Lots of figurines. I don't know anything about that kind of stuff. Like the little figurines, the glass figurines and stuff. So they have one, two, three, four, maybe five aisles of all this kind of stuff. And as far, <laughs> there's Lucas, not happy in the buggy. Um, but as far as a lot of this stuff, I mean, I don't really know like what is good for resale. I mean, like this is a little bowling pin. It looked cool, but I don't know. I just like look things up that kind of stand out to me like here they have a whole aisle of just Christmas stuff is it too early to start buying Christmas stuff got some new stuff still in like packaging from like what was that Dollar General maybe I wanted six bucks for it I think the original price on it was ten Some of the Christmas stuff can be worth quite a bit of money, but here's some interesting dolls. Again, something I don't really know much about. Best best thing to do if you don't know some about something about a particular item, 
and you don't have anyone to ask, just ask Google. Look it up on Google, see if you can find a name brand, a year, any kind of markings, and just look it up. Those dolls were like $6 a piece, so. Here's a copy of Wii Fit, and I'll talk about that here in just a minute. A bunch of the video games. The video games in this particular Goodwill, they never change. They're always the same games. I feel like as soon as games get put out, they disappear very quickly. Got a bunch of picture frames, pretty much an entire aisle of just picture frames. You can find some stuff like stashed in there sometimes. The cell phone case. But mostly just picture frames. Some cool bottles or vases, I guess. <clears throat> Here's a little fish tank. Lucas has actually been talking about getting a fish, but we didn't. I think that, that, that tank was a little bit too small. Still kind of just browsing these aisles, hoping to see one thing that stands out to me. We did have a little bit of cash on us, but, but not much. Like I said, I forgot my wallet, so. Some more figurines. What was that? Seven dollars? Six dollars? Could have been worth it to resell. I didn't even look those up. They, the boxes, you know, the boxes did look actually kind of, kind of old. It might have been vintage. Oh, calculator. And then I believe this is the last aisle of the knickknack type stuff. Just kind of walking around showing you guys some of the prices on a few of these items. Little sun tea pitcher. I would have got that. I like sun tea, but it didn't have the spout on it. And I, I know it's not really a problem, but I already have a pitcher like that, so I just left that one behind. I think it was only like a dollar. Pretty cool little jar there. I'm not real, a uh, real big fan either of stashing the uh, glass items. You know, I don't like uh, holding on to a bunch of breakable stuff. It just seems like it always gets broken. I thought that was a sunflower. Lauren's huge into sunflowers. She loves sunflowers. And then this is the last of it. This is just the uh, the dishes. This is all dishes. And I very rarely look through this stuff, it's just because just I, I just don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for. I know like Pyrex is always a big, a big seller, I guess, a big collector item even. But sometimes I, you can find like collectors, like Disney plates and things in there. But I just don't really look through there too often. At the very end of the aisle is just some lamps. So, nothing too exciting there. Here's probably the one aisle that I look at all the time. Every time I come in here into this particular Goodwill, I always look through the men's t-shirts. I actually found a t-shirt for $1.79 that we wound up selling on Poshmark for $80 not too long ago. So, I always look. Here's a bunch of coats. They always have nice coats and jackets. And they have a ton of them right now because obviously it's summer, but I don't feel like they're going to sell very well with it being so hot. I mean, it could be something to like to buy a bunch of these and stash them, you know, and put them up somewhere. But their prices are, for the uh, jackets and coats, they're still anywhere from like 7 to like $15. So you would have to spend quite a bit of money and wait a long time for a return. There's a pretty nice, I think Magellan brand shirt fishing style shirt had the Chevy logo on it but decided to leave it behind that's <laughs> cool in the you got a ninja turtle truck you got a ninja turtle truck they got mixing order but they want $15 a piece
So I go back over here and I look at these Wii boards. I don't know anything about them. I don't know if you have to have separate wires to uh, to make them work. But I've seen other people sell them in the in on their YouTube channels, and you know they they sell for twenty to twenty five bucks a piece. But for the price of the board plus the price of the game, and then I don't have a way to test them. I just I just decided to leave them behind. Moving on now to the board games. I'm pretty sure I looked at all these. They were all open. You can actually look at the uh, the board or, or the box and see like, how many pieces are in them. And if you want and if you think the game is worth it, you can go in and count every piece to make sure all the pieces are there. But not something I want to mess with. So I just, I just looked. Did find a cool checkerboard that I wish that I would have grabbed. Very cool. But you know, I got you guys know I have bad eyes. I thought that price said like twenty six dollars, so I left it behind. But I definitely wish I would have got it. Found some wallets in a weird spot. You know, sometimes people have stuff in their buggy, decide not to get it, and they set it aside. Found these wallets. Uh, the next one is like a Liz Claiborne wallet. Wasn't a lot of profit to be made off of it, but that's a good brand. Price was right, but. All right, so we are back home from the thrift store from Goodwill. Hope you guys like those clips. This, like I said, it was the first time that I've ever recorded like that, so I don't know. Next time I go in, I'm gonna try to record with my GoPro. It'll make things a lot easier to see because like I said, in the clips, I was using my cell phone. Anyway, let's show you guys a few things that we found. Um, these first items, they're actually items that we found a couple days prior. Um, I just, at that time I, I hadn't recorded like I told you guys this was the first time I recorded inside of the store um, we'll start it off with this uh, I believe this is a 1993 run DMC uh, that song tricky Ricky I guess is the name of the song it's tricky it's um, it's not single stitch but the the tag does say it's 1993 right it was 95 anyway pretty cool shirt there and then this was a really cool shirt. This is a Harry Potter um, Gryffindor shirt. Both of these shirts are women's shirts, but they were in the men's section. So at this particular uh, Goodwill, the men's shirts are $1.79 for t-shirts. And women's shirts are $1 or $2.29 for t-shirts. So these are the ones Lauren found. She always looks through the women's shirts and I always look through the, the men's shirts. Um... This is an LSU Nike shirt. All these shirts are in really good shape. And like I said, $2.29. Here is a Jeff Gordon number 24 shirt. And then these radios. I found two of these radios. These are... Uh, it's a realistic 40 channel citizens band transponder these are really cool it's like a CB radio style antenna like extends to like four feet and I got both of these there's two of them perfect condition nothing wrong with them the only thing is they don't have the cord but it's just a little regular 12 volt AC adapter um, I got them both for five bucks and they're selling individually for one of them they're selling on ebay for forty dollars a piece so that's like 80 bucks right there so very cool score when i got them um they had them taped together kind of you know i thought i guess they thought maybe they were walkie talkies which i guess you could use them as a walkie talkie but anyway very very cool and then at that goodwill you saw lucas he found um he found two little cars. Well, he found a little, um, like a Mario Kart car. And then he found a um, Ninja Turtle truck, which we thought it was uh, might have been vintage at first, but it's actually a, it is a remake of the vintage truck. I found a pair of sleep shorts and Lauren found a pair of like swim shorts, Texas Rangers. Really, really cool. Those are nice. So also on top of going to the thrift store, starting to record inside the thrift store, which is that something I want to do. I also want to start getting up the confidence and the courage, I guess, to start recording at yard sales. 
because we found some pretty cool stuff at some yard sales. Um, the first item that we found are these, they're 3X Dallas Cowboy pants, but they're brand new with the tag on them. The XL. Um, I figure that these will sell for, I don't know, 25, maybe 30 bucks. They're brand new. There's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. And then the other, other thing that I picked up, I was just talking in the video about not, um, not buying jackets and coats to, to, uh, to hold on to because of how hot it is and things around here. But I just, I couldn't pass up on this, especially for the price. It's a, uh, it's a pea coat. The, the fabrics made in Italy, which I don't know if this particular brand, all the fabrics are made in Italy, but it's a Tommy Hilfiger. So I, I didn't find the exact one yet online, but I found similar comps that were selling brand new for around a hundred bucks. So I think that this should be at least, at the very least, a $50 jacket when the time is right. This is something that we can just kind of fold up or hang up in the closet and kind of forget about. And like I said, the price was right. I paid at the same yard sale. I got these pants, which like I said, they're brand new and the jacket for $7 for both of them. So, I mean, potentially it could be another 80 to maybe a hundred bucks there. And I only paid seven dollars so lauren uh, she's at work or i'd show you guys she also found herself a new wallet it's a leather wallet but it's made from uh, baseball glove leather and brand new they they sell for a hundred dollars i think we paid three bucks for it and it's it's really really cool so but anyway that's gonna do it guys um let me know in the comments if you like this kind of video um like seeing me go to the thrift store and kind of showing you guys what all they have um, give me any feedback of anything that I did not pick up at the at that Goodwill that you might have picked up. Um, your thoughts about storing the jackets, if that's something that you guys do or if that's a, a good idea or not. Um, and like always, if there's anything that you guys see here, let me know. We will put it up on Poshmark. And we're eventually going to start our eBay store back up. Just something we've been talking about. So, I don't know eventually we're gonna do that we got a lot of stuff that we could put up on ebay that could probably bring us some decent money we just we just got away from ebay for a while but that might be something that we start doing again but anyway um that's all i got for you guys today so uh i don't know i guess we'll see y'all next time